Hey guys, this is Sims 3 Copper Fox bringing you the first episode of the Princess Games Challenge. Now, if you've ever watched a Hunger Games challenge, why? Okay, sorry, the hedges like weren't rendering. Um, if you've ever got, if you guys have ever watched a Hunger Games challenge, this is basically a spin-off of that. It's going to be the same thing and the only difference really is that instead of going with a bunch of different contestants or like uh, a but like a hodgepodge of people I am doing all Disney princesses <laughs> so I have gone ahead and created all the princesses and I'm gonna go over them okay not all of the princesses there actually are some that are missing and I'm gonna address that right now because I got a lot of comments based on that and people were like why did you forget this person why did you forget that person why is Elsa in there she's a queen not a princess so first of all, Mulan is not a princess. Um, a lot of people ask me where Mulan was. She did not marry a prince, nor was she royalty ever. She was a warrior and really awesome, but she's not a princess. Um, who else? Um, I didn't do Anna because from Frozen because I didn't have the room to do her. And I had a lot more fun creating Elsa. I'm not going to lie to you. And... I personally relate better to Elsa than I do to Anna. So that's why I chose to do Elsa instead. And yes, I understand that she is a queen, but for the first, like what, 10, 15 minutes, she is a princess. <laughs> so she is at one point a princess in the movie. So I'm sticking with that. And um, I just thought she would bring really fun diversity into the gameplay. And I wanted to do a really current princess so I chose to do Elsa instead of Anna and because I also had outfits that worked for Elsa versus Anna Anna's outfits were harder to find in my opinion so uh, that's why I chose to do her it's not because I don't like Anna I think she's a fabulous character and maybe if there's ever a season two I'll consider her I think I already have an idea if there is a season two of what characters I want to do um but I'm not saying it could never happen and maybe she can be like a guest star or something on this on the show but uh that's why i did elsa um who else there were a few other people or a few other oh marid Mary, merida merida i think that's her name from brave uh she is a princess actually i believe i did not do her because i didn't have room to put her in my household there was only eight characters again i don't have the um what is that mod called? There's a mod that you can use, but I don't have it installed. Um, I'm not really strict on mods. My computer though, I don't run on a PC, I run on a Mac. So my computer is really picky with what mods it will accept and which ones it won't. And that's why actually, because I film on a Mac, that's why the computer has the black lines on the sides of the video because the editing software and everything I use is fit for a Mac and that's just how it does things. So um, eventually I probably will film on a PC, but right now, uh, I don't have access to buy a new computer. I don't have the money for that. So eventually I probably will move over to a PC though, just because it is, the Sims is more geared for a PC. So um, that's why I did not do her. I feel like there were other suggestions. I know there are more people than that. I just, those were the ones that were most popular suggestions though. We're like, why'd you not do this person? Why didn't you do that person? So um, it was nothing personal. Either they weren't princesses or I didn't have room for them in my household. So I'm sorry if I left out your favorite character. Uh, that was, I just went with like the original Disney princesses, which to me, the originals are Snow White, Jasmine, Aurora, Belle, Cinderella, and Ariel. Those are like the six original Disney princesses. And then I wanted to add a couple more current ones. So I did Elsa and I did Tiana. So... Um, let me go ahead and introduce you to the contestants. I just want to kind of go over their traits really briefly. This episode is more of an introduction episode. I'm not really going to get into too much gameplay. So um, if you do want to see that, I will put a link when the video is available right here somewhere to go to the first episode for like official gameplay. But this episode, I'm going to go over the characters and probably the house. So if you guys don't really enjoy seeing stuff like that, um, I am sorry. But please tune in to the next episode. Um, so Elsa is unflirty. And I gave her that trait because she never really has anybody 
in the movie to be with. So unflirty, disciplined because her dad is always like, conceal it, don't feel it, you know. Loves the cold, of course. Proper because she kind of comes off that way, at least for the first bit of the movie until she lets loose. And artistic because, man, have you seen that glass castle that she makes? She is super artistic. Her favorite color is lilac. Her favorite food is lobster. And her favorite music is dark wave. Um, I just kind of picked random things. Uh, next would be Jasmine. Let me go ahead and play it so she'll stand up straight. Stand up, Jasmine. There we go. Uh, Jasmine, actually, mini wifey, one of my friends. Uh, she doesn't do YouTube videos or anything, but that's her YouTube username. Uh, she, whoa. Uh, I want to get a good shot of Jasmine. There we go. That's going to have to do it. Um, Jasmine, she actually helped me create Jasmine. She created her for me and did a fabulous job. Um, Jasmine is flirty. Uh, because I don't know, you've seen her work it with Aladdin. Like she's a little flirty. She's adventurous. You know how she was always sneaking out of like the castle and stuff like that. She's hot headed. Um, I don't remember why we chose hot headed, probably because she like stands her ground and stuff to Aladdin. Um, she has commitment issues, which, um, I don't remember why we chose that one either, but we totally did. We were I don't remember, but, um, you know, I also didn't want to make all of the Sims like super perfect. I wanted to give some of them traits that maybe would be interesting to watch. So, and then we gave her perceptive because that girl is observant. She totally calls Aladdin, Aladdin out on his biz. So, um, then we have, oh my goodness, I need to like tab in to get these shots. Okay. There we go. That is like way better. Okay. So oh, come on. So here is Snow White and let's go ahead and click on her picture so we can see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to go over Jasmine's favorites. Her favorite color is aqua. Her favorite food is shawar. I can't even say that. Sh shawarma? 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 I, I don't know actually what that is. It, it might be like a different dish from another country or something. I don't know what that is, but it looks delicious in the picture. Um, and her favorite music, of course, is Egyptian. Okay, let's go ahead over to uh, Snow White. I could have given Snow White a short hairdo with a bow, but I was like, nah, these are like modern princesses. And I really liked this hairdo and I thought it was super cute. So Snow White is a natural cook because, you know, she makes those gooseberry pies. She's good. She's a hopeless romantic because, I mean, seriously, she like falls for the prince like that and they get married. Uh, she's an animal lover because, you know, she's all like whistle while you work and talking to her animal friends and she's nurturing. So that's her traits and her favorite color is yellow. I just chose that because her dress has yellow on it. I probably could have done the same for Belle, but I don't know. It just it just sounded right. Her favorite food is cobbler, which I just put that because she makes pies and stuff. And her favorite music is classical. OK. And let's see who's next over here. Whoa. OK, it looks like we've got oh my goodness, my goodness game. Knock it off. Sorry, it's really hard because they're in the middle of all these hedges. She looks like she has some serious under eye bags, which I guess she should because she likes to sleep, <laughs> which if you've seen the movie, um, you get that reference. Uh, Aurora loves the outdoors. Um, because if you've seen the movie, you know, Briar Rose, she's always out there singing, doing her biz in nature. She's disciplined because, I mean, she is disciplined, you know, she's always listening to her little fairy friends. Um, she's neat. You see her clean in the movie a lot. She's a gatherer. You also see her go and pick berries. And of course, she is a heavy sleeper. Um, her favorite color is spice brown because for a lot of the movie, um, before she gets like her blue and pink or whatever color you identify it with. I always say that she wears blue in the movie because I just liked it better. But a lot of people identify her in the pink dress. It's the same dress, but the fairies change the colors. Um, but for a lot of the movie, she's in like her cleaning attire or whatever. And she wears brown, so brown spice. Her favorite food is autumn salad and she likes indie music. All right, and then we have Tiana. I actually really, really, really like the way Tiana came out. I, she's probably, I would say, I don't want to be like biased or anything, but she's probably my favorite. Like, I just, I really like the way that she came out. Um, that doesn't mean I'm necessarily rooting for her to win or anything, but yeah, I really like her. 
uh, let's see. Her traits are no sense of humor because, you know, she's very no nonsense. Like she wants to get her restaurant up and running and whatnot. She's disciplined as well. Always going to work every day, saving all of her money. She's a natural cook, which if you've seen the movie, you totally get that. She's frugal because again, she's really into saving money. Uh, for her restaurant dreams and she is ambitious i think all those traits depict her really well her favorite color is lime green uh, her favorite food is stew surprise i chose that because she's like loves gumbo and i don't know if they had gumbo as a choice i didn't really look but stew surprise was the first thing i saw and i was like yep and her favorite music is roots so yeah i love her like her i think her traits came out well her clothes came out well like i i really like her all right and let's see who else am i missing here oh there's like a ton of them over here okay let's look at cinderella oh this is gonna be a ridiculous picture to get um so cinderella's right here uh she is no sense oh wait no that's tiana straight sorry where are you cinderella here you are okay she's disciplined which she totally is she's neat because she's always having to clean up after everyone she's eco-friendly she is also a hopeless romantic you know she meets her prince charming in one night and like they are just destined from that moment on and she is also an animal lover with her little mice friends and everything her favorite color is hot pink her favorite food is french toast and her favorite music is pop uh let's see moving on over to ariel Ariel, oh, Ariel, honey child, why are your eyes closed? Let's play that for a second. There we go. Here's Ariel. I love her eyes. I think I used contacts on her. I named her Ariel Ocean. If I didn't know their last names, because I don't think most of the princesses or any of them had last names. If they did, I'm not aware. So I just kind of gave them their own last names. She's Ariel Ocean. Um, she's adventurous. She is a workaholic. Why did I make her a workaholic? I don't remember. She's a workaholic though, okay. Um, I might actually change the workaholic trait because she, they probably won't have jobs and she'll just constantly get wants for that. She's a gatherer with, you know, she's always gathering those dingle hoppers and stuff. She's a hopeless romantic and she's friendly. Her favorite color is purple. She loves lobster, but vegetarian lobster. So not real lobster, which I thought was pretty funny because she does not eat her friend Sebastian and she likes island life music. All right. And I just kind of gave like arbitrary lifetime wishes because why did I do that? Oh, because they're probably not going to fulfill them anyways. Uh, okay. So last but not least here, here is Belle, which is funny. I think it's funny that every person, at least that I've shown this to, because like I, my friends in real life and my husband, I've shown this to every person is like, I love your Belle Sim. And honestly, I think it's because Belle is my favorite princess in all the Disney series. I felt like I could have tried harder. And everybody's always like, I love Belle. She came out so beautiful. It looks just like her. And I don't know. I guess I just, I don't have those feelings. I think she looks really great. But I don't know. I think, I think, I don't know. And I, I did work for a long time on her. But I think it's because she's my favorite that I'm like, dude, I couldn't have even done her justice. Okay, so Belle is obviously a bookworm. She's good. She's a genius. She's frugal. And she's a quest... A, la, 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 <laughs> equestrian. Um, because, you know, her horse, Philippe. Uh, her favorite color is also yellow. So I did make her favorite color yellow. Uh, her favorite food is crepes because it's a French dish, I believe. And her favorite music is French music, of course. So that is all the princesses. Sorry, that took forever. I kind of went into more detail than I wanted to. That is all the princesses. Let's go ahead and take a look at their house. Now, if you guys have never seen a, what? If you have never seen a Hunger Games challenge, I encourage you to go check out K-pop. Um, she does, like if you're not okay with profanity in videos, definitely don't head over there because she does curse a lot but she is really funny and she does a hunger games challenge which is kind of what i'm going to do i'm going to go based off more of her rules because that's the only version of the hunger games challenge i've ever seen so i'm going to go more based off of her rules so the house it does look nice but you got to realize that there are eight sims here and there is not enough stuff here for eight sims i promise it's supposed to be difficult though so we have the front door right here 
And I kind of made their house like cottage styled, if you didn't notice, because of all like they're all princesses. I don't know. It just, it was either going to be a castle or a cottage, and I chose a cottage. So, um, also because constructing a castle, like I think with how small this one is, I wouldn't have done it justice. A cottage was easier. Uh, so here's their little like bathroom area. I just, you guys know that I absolutely love the uh, stuff pack. I think it's the master suite. It's like my favorite. I always use the bathroom stuff from it because I think it's beautiful. So that's their little, or it's actually a pretty big bathroom. Uh, there's the bathroom. It just has a tub, uh, no shower, just a tub, a sink, a toilet, and a rug in there. And then this is like their little entryway area. This is a table, which obviously there's not room for all of them to sit at the same time, but I'll explain the food and they probably won't all be eating at the same time anyway, so it really doesn't matter. This is like their living room area. They do have a TV for entertainment and that is like it. And they, there is a bookshelf here. So um, TV, bookshelf, there's a few places to sit, but there's only one area that can be napped on. The couch can be napped on and that is it. There is no other places in this house that can be napped on. And then the bedroom is over here and there's one bed in the whole house. And of course it's a full sized bed. So whoever gets this bed has to have a pretty good relationship with whoever they're sharing it with or they won't sleep together. So um, there is that. And then coming over here, there's just a really big kitchen area and the kitchen. Oh, you know what I just realized? I'm probably going to have to change this stove because if you click on this stove, you can serve food and that is not bueno. So I'm gonna probably have to delete this stove. Let's do it right now, actually, while I'm talking about it. Um, so for the rules, we're kind of just gonna play this by ear because K-pop doesn't, as far as I know, there's no place on the internet that actually has the specified rules. If there is, please someone direct me because I really would prefer that. But um, as far as I know, there isn't one. So that being, okay, no, put that there. That being said, um, I'm kind of just going based off of her videos. Oh no, I guess you can still serve breakfast and stuff here. I wonder if that's gonna affect anything. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> but I don't have like a specific set of rules. I just know what she does and I'm gonna try to implement that same thing. So, uh, one of the biggest rules is there's only going to be three meals served a day. There's eight Sims, like not three meals, like, but like three plates and that's it. Um, obviously if I feel like people, if I feel like a mass death is about to happen, I might try to move their like bar up ever so slightly. Um, I will tell you right now that as far as rules go, they're breakable. Like, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm going to play specifically by the rules constantly. There might be times when I have to save people because we'll have like a massive five person death if I don't. So there is going to be times where I'm probably going to have to alter things a little bit, but I will try my best to not let that happen. This series is really more of a free play. Like, I don't do anything. I just watch The Sims, but I get to control specific actions for them. And from you guys, my audience, I actually need help with this series. And what I need help with from you guys, not necessarily in this episode, but what we will be doing is I'm going to have like challenge rounds and death rounds, of course. And in the, there will also be like voting I guess on who gets to have the victory house and who gets to have a punishment and voting on what types of punishments you'd like to see and what type of victories like victory prizes or rewards that's what I meant to say or rewards you'd like to see I was thinking for a reward I did build a, a reward house and I'll show that to you in a minute there is a reward house um or I could like create after someone dies obviously so I have room but I could create one of the princes for one of the princesses and let them go on like a date or um I could I don't know there are like so many options the options are endless for rewards and as we get to know the characters and things like that it will become more apparent apparent what kind of rewards we want to give them um, I also need ideas for death rounds. And if you're not comfortable with character death, I advise you not to watch the series because like the Hunger Games, if you've ever seen it, um, obviously it's we're going to fight into the death here. 
there is going to be one last person standing and that's it. So everyone except for one of these princesses is going to die. Um, it's funny because I was just telling you guys at the end of the Black Hearts Challenge that I wanted to move on to something a little bit happier, but my all-in-one LP that's coming on Monday, it was my current household and now it's changing into an all-in-one. Um, that is actually going to be dropping... Uh, that one is a little... Or, excuse me. That one is a little bit happier, but this series is actually really sad when you think about it. So... Um, I will need your guys' help. I will give you further instruction on how to help me with that when we get to an episode that requires it or a, a pre-episode, I guess. Um, I'll probably have like polls to vote on listed in the description bar below when the time comes. And you guys can also comment. Give me ideas. If you want to see something in the series, maybe leave me a comment. I read every single comment on every single video. The only reason sometimes you might not get a response is because with the Google Plus merge... Uh, commenting back sometimes if you have your privacy settings set a certain way, I can't respond to you. So, <clears throat> uh, moving on to show you the house. This video is going to be long, guys. I'm really sorry. Uh, this is the backyard. Pretty basic. It's got a really big pool in the middle with a waterfall, a couple of little side pools, a water slide, and then I put some of these floaty things out because I didn't even know that the game had them. So, I was really excited. That apparently, I think, came with Island Paradise. Uh, so I put that stuff out and yes, I did build this lot completely. Okay. So let me go ahead and put the walls up here. This is the victory house. The victory house is all futuristic decked out. Uh, there's like the hologram trees in the front, some big open windows, lots of greenery, this crazy statue, some seating. Um, this is what the sim will win whoever like wins a victory, whoever wins a challenge or whatever we decide, you know, maybe that will be their reward is to get to stay in the victory house. So, um, this is like the master bedroom area for the victory house and the bathroom, just pretty basic. They're just a much nicer beds, a huge bathtub, uh, stuff like that. So just, just really nice stuff. The kitchen has a ton of things. It's got an espresso machine. It's got a little bar thing you can get drinks from. It's got a food synthesizer. Synthesizer? Is that what it's called? What are you called? I don't know what it's called. It's, it like makes food though. Like you can just tell it to make things and it will. Uh, a nice stove, fridge. It's got this oven as well. Um, let's see what else. There's a seating area with a nice like hologram TV. There's another seating area, another table area for eating. There's a pool table, an indoor jacuzzi, and that's it. And then over here, um, it hasn't happened yet because we have to wait for somebody to die. But over here, this is like the slave's quarters. Um, I will eventually implement the slave. The slave will cook all the meals for the princesses, so I don't have to worry about them getting in and doing it themselves. I haven't decided who the slave's going to be yet, so maybe, you guys, if you want to see that, maybe I can bring Mulan in to be the slave or Merida or, you know, someone like that. So uh, let me know, actually, who you would want to see as the slave because I would definitely be willing to take suggestions. Um, and that's kind of the slave's quarters. They'll get to stay in the Victory House 24-7 um making meals for everybody and we'll probably just set the meals like outside and it's like a first come first serve kind of thing so eventually after the first episode i will probably just get rid of the fridge in here and the stove completely it won't even exist they'll have a kitchen for nothing and that is it for the lot guys um again we're just going to be kind of playing the rules by ear uh, please leave comments in the comment section below letting me know if you want to see something or maybe if I have forgotten about a certain rule or if there's a rule that you think should be implemented, please share your ideas. I am more than happy to look at them. Like I said, I read every single comment and also you can tweet me stuff too. I look at all of my tweets every single day. I don't miss a thing. So that is all for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the introduction episode. Look forward to the first episode coming next week. And uh, yeah, happy February, everybody. Are you guys so shocked that it's February already? I know I am. Uh, I hope this was fun to watch and I hope you're all having a fabulous day. This is Sims 3 Copper Fox signing off.